Did you know that India's population is so large, it's almost equal to the entire population of North America, South America, Australia, and Europe combined? Yes, you heard it right. We're talking about a nation that's bursting at the seams with more than 1.3 billion souls. That's billion with a B. This makes India a cauldron of cultural diversity with a myriad of traditions and languages that is simply mind-boggling. But it's not just about the numbers. This enormous pool of people also drives India's economic engine, pushing it towards becoming one of the world's largest economies. However, this massive population also poses significant challenges, ranging from providing adequate health care to managing resources and infrastructure. So, next time you're stuck in traffic or standing in a long queue, just remember, in India, they're dealing with the population equivalent of almost four continents. Yes, India is home to one in every six people on Earth. If you thought English and Spanish had a lot of speakers, wait until you hear about India. India is a country that thrives on diversity, and nothing exemplifies this better than its linguistic landscape. With a staggering total of over 2,000 distinct languages, India is a melting pot of cultures and dialects, each with its own unique charm and complexity. And here's the real shocker. India doesn't have a national language. That's right, there's no single language that binds the entire country. Instead, India has two official languages, Hindi and English, but even these aren't spoken by everyone. In India, language isn't just about communication, it's about identity. Each dialect, each language speaks volumes about the rich heritage and vibrant history of its people. From the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas to the serene backwaters of Kerala, every region has its own linguistic flavor. That's right, in India, the language changes every few hundred kilometers. Ever thought of going vegetarian? Well, India might just be your paradise. You see, India is a kaleidoscope of diverse cultures and traditions, and this diversity is evident in its cuisine as well. But what's truly remarkable is that India has the highest percentage of vegetarians in the world. Yes, you heard that right. A whopping 30 to 40 percent of the Indian population has chosen to follow a meat-free diet. This isn't simply a dietary preference. It's deeply ingrained in their religious beliefs and personal values. From the aromatic lentil curries of the north to the coconut-infused stews of the south, vegetarianism here is not just about salads. It's a rich, flavorful culinary journey that's as diverse as the country itself. So if you've ever contemplated a vegetarian lifestyle, there's no better place to start than India. Yes, India is a haven for vegetarians. India once was known as the Golden Bird. And it's not just a metaphor. This title was not bestowed lightly. It's a testament to a time when India was at the forefront of global wealth and commerce boasting a staggering one-third of the world's wealth. A time when the nation's economy was so rich and vibrant, it dazzled the world. Much like a golden bird soaring high in the sky, India's wealth was not confined to its borders. It was a significant contributor to global trade, its resources sought after by nations near and far. The scent of Indian spices wafted through the markets of ancient Rome, while the sparkle of Indian diamonds adorned the crowns of European royalty. From the bustling spice bazaars that filled the air with a riot of aromas to the diamond mines that produced gems of unparalleled brilliance, India was not merely a participant in global trade, it was a dominant force. From the spice trade to the diamond mines, India truly was a golden bird. Forget about the Amazon rainforest, India has the wettest place on Earth. This might come as a surprise, but tucked away in the northeastern state of Meghalaya, lies the small village of Mausinram. This unassuming place is the reigning champion when it comes to the highest average annual rainfall. Picture this, an average of about 462 inches of rain cascades down on Mausinram each year. That's roughly 12 times the annual rainfall of Seattle, a city notorious for its drizzly weather. It's a deluge that turns the landscape into a verdant paradise, a sight to behold for sure. The locals have adapted to the copious rainfall in unique ways. They fashion nups, robust shields made from bamboo and banana leaf, to protect themselves from the relentless downpour. The rain doesn't dampen the spirit of Ma Sinram. Instead, it shapes their way of life. So if you're a fan of the rain, 
you know where to go. Zero, a simple yet profoundly important number was first used by the ancient Indians. Picture a world where the concept of nothing doesn't exist. That's the world before India's ingenious mathematicians introduced zero. It was a groundbreaking moment, not just for mathematics, but for the world as a whole. The invention of zero was more than a placeholder or a simple digit. It was a philosophical concept, a symbol of void and infinity. It revolutionized the way we count, calculate, and even think about numbers. It allowed for the development of algebra, calculus, and the binary system, forming the foundation of modern computer science. Even the way we tell time, measure distances, and navigate the globe wouldn't be possible without zero. It's a silent hero that makes our daily lives possible, all the while remaining unseen and unappreciated. Imagine mathematics without zero. Hard, isn't it? Thank India for that. Before it became a global trend, yoga was born in India over 5,000 years ago. The ancient art of yoga is much more than just a physical exercise. It is a comprehensive spiritual path that originated in the mystical landscapes of the Indian subcontinent. The word yoga itself, derived from Sanskrit, means union, a union of the mind, body, and spirit. It's a central part of Hindu philosophy and is deeply intertwined with the culture and spiritual practices of India. The ancient Indian sages, known as rishis, used yoga as a tool for self-realization and attaining enlightenment. Over the centuries, yoga has evolved and spread across the globe, but it has always maintained its Indian roots. Today, millions practice yoga around the world drawn to its promise of harmony and balance. So, next time you strike a yoga pose, remember its rich Indian roots. India isn't just a country of many people, but also a country of many voters. Now, this isn't just a whimsical statement. Picture this. India, a vibrant nation with over 900 million eligible voters. Yes, you heard it right. 900 million. That's more than twice the entire population of the United States. This makes India the world's largest democracy, a title it proudly wears. It's a place where each vote counts, where each voice matters. A place where democracy is not just a political system, but a way of life. Every five years, the nation embarks on a colossal democratic exercise, an election that's a spectacle in itself. Thousands of candidates, countless rallies, and millions upon millions of votes. It's a festival of democracy that stretches from the snow-capped Himalayas to the sunny shores of Kerala. So the next time you think of democracy, think of India. Democracy truly has a massive scale in India. Ever seen people throwing colored powder at each other? That's holy, an Indian festival. This vibrant celebration, also known as the Festival of Colors, is deeply rooted in Indian culture and mythology. Holy marks the arrival of spring, a season of joy and hope, symbolizing the victory of good over evil. The festival is a grand carnival where people from all walks of life come together to spread love and positivity. The colored powder, or gulal, represents the colors of spring and the diversity of India itself. Across the country, streets come alive with people drenched in a multitude of hues, singing, dancing, and rejoicing in the spirit of Holi. Delicious sweets and traditional music add to the festive atmosphere, making it a truly unforgettable experience. From the bustling lanes of Delhi to the serene ghats of Varanasi, Holi's magic unfolds everywhere uniting people in a beautiful riot of colors. Holy, a true spectacle of color and joy is a sight to behold. Imagine a gathering so large it's visible from space. That's Kumela Mela for you. This grand event, steeped in millennia-old traditions, is the largest religious gathering on the planet. Every 12 years, millions of pilgrims clad in saffron and white converge upon the holy rivers of India. Their mission? to bathe in the sacred waters, seeking spiritual cleansing and liberation from the cycle of rebirth. The sheer scale of Kumbh Mela is nothing short of breathtaking, a sea of humanity moving in unison with a shared purpose. The energy, the colors, the sounds, all blend into an experience that transcends the physical, reaching into the very core of human spirituality. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, has recognized this magnificent event as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity, a testament to its global significance. Kumela, the world's largest gathering, is an awe-inspiring sight.